Right, taxes defined. But enter and look well, about 132 million results in 0.85 seconds. Whoa. Right. Wow, who knew? 132 million bash links. Just links, relentless links that will just bash, translateral bash you, bash you, and just smash you in 0.85 of a second. Who knew? And you're like, exactly, we, this is glorious. We've achieved such amazing things. Well, it's so much better than us. And we're like, uh, right. Because surely life is links. Links, links, links. And you're like, yes, link. We're the missing link. We are the lost civilization. People wake up. It's time to take now what's ours and this and this. No. What a shame. Your parents believe the same thing that you believe today, and they be and their parents believe the same. But they, somehow that they were promised that they were getting better. It's getting better. Don't worry. Look, we're giving you things to make life easier somehow, and now you can just relax and bash fight for other things like uh, like the rights that you somehow didn't have, and fight for them relentlessly and fight, 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 fight forever until you somehow are uh. Tyrannized by someone you accept and you say, yes, he's the greatest leader ever. He smashes us, smashing us. But it's okay, we have to pay some tax. He can smash us, but, well, it's okay. We'll bash, give us his coin. We'll give us his coin back and just, we're allowed to smash. As long as we give some coin, we're allowed to smash ourselves. Okay, so we get smashed if we don't put the coin in and Bash, as long as we put the coin in, then we can go out there and point coins in relentless other slots. And just bash, fill them, fill them, fill them, in, 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 bash, never out, just in, 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 and all of a sudden, bash, you, you're dead. Who knew? <laughs> and then you say, well, that's why I'm, I have the best accountant. He just bashes, just defiles me in relentless loopholes, and I end up paying zero tax. Isn't that amazing? Whoa, I'd rather pay my accountant than bash give the man at least three quarters of what I make. I mean, ridiculous, right? I mean, this, I, I work hard to make my millions. I work so hard to make my millions. Just so hard. I sacrifice so much. But somehow, yes, I did decide to choose this life. So somehow I'm complaining but I have millions. I have relentless millions, but I'm complaining. Somehow, I'm just... I'm just so told. It's just... Oh, my contribution is relentless, and somehow... I'm not getting enough out of it all. It's just... Oh, it's such a burden, right? Tox. I'm so toxed. Oh, right? What is a tox? Who knows, but it's... Tax. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. Tax. Okay, I know what it is now. Thank you. Tax. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I need that friendly reminder. Thank you. It's a compulsory contribution to state revenue. Whoa, a compulsory contribution to state revenue. And you're like, of course, I want to make my state the best. And I will bash, give it as much money as I want. So shut up and let me live. Whoa, what a shame, right? It's like... You're, it's like, it's my team, and my team's against the world. And it's me first, and us, well, we're the best. And this, and this, and that, and bash, and this, and this, forever. No, what a shame. Right? <clears throat> so everybody's just boasting and, 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 and putting, bash, throwing coins of what, of, of what they float some. Right? The boast. The boast. Of goods and services somehow, but no. No, goods and services are what... Uh, I mean, those are the labels that have been put on bash things that people do. Who knew? Who knew people walk on the face of the earth and then just bash? They're just out there, right? Selling and trading and bash, giving and receiving. And this and that and bash. Calling over and going bare and returning and smashing. And this and that. And just looking and bash, 
relentlessly looking, right? They're looking. Oh, I'm looking not to be tired as much. Oh, I'm looking forward to this and that. Oh, I look so good. I'm looking fast. Blah, blah, blah. Look. Look, 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 look. Look at how much tax I avoided. Isn't that amazing? And I'm getting a return. Who knew? Oh, again, I'd rather pay my accountant because he smashed and he went to school to, to do the smash and know the smash and then just to fall in loop, loopholes. But let's just use the paper to smash paper. But wait, doesn't scissors smash paper and rock smash scissors? But then somehow paper smashes rock. So yeah, but people just scissor it up and paper it up. That's it. That's it, people. Rocks are useless. All you need is paper and bash coin. That's all you need. Bash coin. Just get, not forget the paper. Just coin. Just coin. You're the coin. Collect them all. And then you might be able to have enough to go and carve a life for yourself. Carve it out. And then make millions because you can do it with just nothing. You can start from nothing and become something. Whoa. You can be nothing, right? And then become something. Whoa, what a shame. Right? Because you're like, oh, I was born into the world and I was nothing. Right? And you're like, oh, my parents gave me everything. And this. And I'm so grateful for my parents. No, oh, what is going on? Sure. Honor them. Wow. But ultimately, you look around and surely our parents were alive when... The deception is was going on, it is going on. So, uh, you say no, no, no. My parents were not deceived. No, 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 no for never, 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 never. Fine, maybe they weren't, but certainly you were. And you're like, no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm out there smashing it, just becoming somebody. Whoa, what a shame. What are you becoming? Some bash? Okay. Amazing. Go and try and pay less tax of that forever. Amazing. And you're like, uh, well, we need it because it's just so unfair out there. It's just so unfair for the little guy and this and this and that and that. Right. Right. It's so unfair for the little guy. But yet the whole dynamic of this whole scheme is the sad component. It's the sad compulsory component. Who knew? Who knew you're just compulsed? You're compelled into sadness. Right? Because somehow you're just splitteth. You're splitteth in half. Or even three-fourths. Or even 100%. You're splitteth wide open. Right? And you're like, okay, now put yourself back together again. You can do it, but Aren't you glad you were born into the world? You're like, well, life is pretty good. But I just, I just can't. Get a break. I I get busted. You know, people just bust my balls and this, and I just get smashed. And this, and this, and everything. I bash, I smash, and smash, and bash, and, and then it just smashes me back. But somehow I smash it back harder, and then it just bash, smashes even harder. Wow. Amazing. And then it just goes up and down, and in and out, and bash, and in, and contorted. Slithered and slopped. Flipped and bashed, spent and bent and just levied, but somehow just meeting taxes, meeting goods and services and transactions, just meeting all of them, right? Compulsory state revenue levied by the government on workers' income and business profits or added to the cost of some goods, services, and transactions because that's all you are, people. You're just some slithered bash that's just putting in holes and taking out and then bash fluffed and not fluffed and then take it in and vacuumed and put in and sucked and dried and blown and then just stretched and just composed and then just deposited somewhere. But you hope it's good. You hope it's good. That's all you have. Hope. Hope and some bash coin. Amazing because it's just tax. So you're taxed for it. So you bash think it's worth something because... You Somehow you have to come up with it. So it's for you that somehow you're making it. You're making it appear. You're making the numbers in your bank account appear, people. You're out there smashing and making numbers appear. Well, who knew? Who knew your your life is being split? Forget this name of coin, right? Forget this. 
What has been done to you? You've been slayed. Oxed open. You've been oxed open. Just s- s- opened. Gosh, open wound. You're bleeding out and you don't even know it. Somehow you're out there bash. Oh, picking up the pieces and picking up, trying to bash, give it another bash. Oh, if I just meditate enough, it'll all be okay. Whoa, it works. And this and this and this. And all of a sudden, I'm worshiping even harder and loving myself even more. And whoa, it's just so amazing. Whoa, how sad. How sad. The delusion, right? The masterpiece of, you guessed it, infinity. All right? It's just infinity. Whoa, relentless. Arbitrary. It's just all possible. Infinite. All things are possible. Who knew? All things. All things, everything, everything, all of it. Somehow, yet here you are. So if you if you're here, this oh no 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 no, it just means the multiverse, didn't you know? But whoa, exactly. Somebody who's just split it open, just exactly justifies all things. Doesn't matter. Just bad justify. Eh, well, it's just some bad apple. Oh no, it's just that. Well, it's just it's the economy that is just the money. It's just well, it could be that guy and this guy and all of them. But who knows? There's no such thing as working in the shadows. No, 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 no. Everybody's just out there, open, open. It's an open book. Everybody's just out there, smashing, in the open. Exactly, they are, but you don't see it because ultimately it's you. You're out there smashing, and you don't want to see it, but you do, and you boast in it, and you say, "Yeah, I'm smashing." I am the best. I am the best. And I aspire to be the best. Because I can. And this and this and that and that and this and this and that. Wow, smashed. Ambassadors of captivity. Ambassadors of desolation. Ambassadors of voidness. Emptying, carving out of the life. Right? Hacking away at the lifeline. The true promise. But no, to you just had to be hardwired. And software is now available and somehow the hardware is the body, the flesh, and somehow you're just going to update it with some relentless zeros and ones and be like, see, it's just the DNA code, and man, we broke the code! We broke the code! We're in it now. We're in the Matrix. We're in the Matrix, and that, no, what a shame. No, there's no such thing. The true problem is life, which in the way you perceive and see and look everywhere is what you see. The knowledge of good and evil. But somehow you name it. Relentless things. And get lost in the names. And bash. Take favors. And favoritism. And out of favor. And this and this. And no, 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 no. And causes. And efforts. And works of this. And that and that. Will take you better. And somehow make you look good. For who? Yourself. And hopefully somebody that wants to get friction with you. And you're like, okay, I'll take that. Yes, and another one, and another one, and another transaction, and all the profits are amazing, and also ever pleasurable. Right? Well, amazing. Amazing. Right? Because it's all, what? Human enhancement. No, 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 no. Human enhancement? No, no, no. But human enhancement can be described as the natural, artificial, or technological alteration of the human body in order to enhance physical or mental capacities. Whoa. Right? Mental. You want mental. They want full mental. And full physical... Physical, they went full physical into the bash mantle, right? They just carved it out. And they're like, look, this bash little dust goes in there and that. And then, that. okay, let's blast it full of it. Now look. Well, look what's happening. Somehow you're enhanced. And you see things. You see things differently. Well, just because you're going to come to bash bash something into your skull and say, well, look, I, I, I look. And I perceive somehow differently. Whoa. Right? And at some bash in the forest is going to be like, Whoa, I see things different every time I bash these mushrooms. And this and that. And you'll say, Exactly. You don't need AI, man. Just go back to plants. It's all plant-based. Bash reality and this, that, the other. Whoa. Lose your mind, right? Because to you, it's the key of Gaia and Gaiaism. And this and this and this. 
right? All deniers of life. For what purpose? Who knows? But it's somehow human gain. Somehow it's going somewhere and it's enhancing. Somehow it's just getting better to the point of somehow you're not going to recognize it, right? Is it good for society? Hmm. Ah, is it? The second thing down, apparently. The power to upgrade our biology is in sight. 2015. 2018. Who knew? Human enhancement. Sienna. Of course, all these names, right? The names hiding behind relentless names. And where you're like, well, what are the names? What are the signs? Who knows? But somehow it just sounds nice and it sounds for something. Whoa. They have the most amazing mission statement and vision statement. It's so pleasing. It's so pleasing to my ear and to my mind. Oh. What is going on? What is going on? Human enhancement. But oh, it's, oh, that costs money, people. Surely money talks. Right? This past song. Right? Angus Young and producer Proof for the hard rock. Right? Some bashes wrote some song and they're like, okay, you bashes, perform it. All right? All right, go out there and bash. All right? We wrote this bash. Now you go out there and perform it. And they're like, ah. All right, what do I get in reward? Uh, all the relentless women, drugs, alcohol, and every past pleasure you ever wanted. He's like, all right. Who knew? All right, give me another song. I will, I will sing. And I will sing like a canary. I will sing and sing and sing and sing and sing and sing forever. Because, oh, you're so good to me. You surely give me everything I've ever wanted. And you protect me. You protect the image that I've created and boasted in. And now, wow, I'm worshipped. Who knew I could come? I've, I've become a god. An idol. Some bash star. Whoa. No, 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 no. It's not that at all. It's just been some bash. And he makes good music. He sounds awesome. And the band was this and this. And I read the book of their biography. And this is so amazing. Who knew there were so many little bash things that they did? Wow, who knew? Oh, what a shame. What is going on? Who knows? Moneyball. Right? But what? Money talks. Oh, apparently it's relentless films. Right, and this and that and that. Music, well, relentless albums and songs, even more. Who knew? Who knew? Going back to what? Exactly. The early 20th century. The early 20th century. The roaring 20s and this bash and that bash and bash. Of the aftermath of the revolutions of the Americas and this. Da, 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 da. No. What is going on? Who knows? But some, somehow money talks. And this bash will say something to you. Approaching, which means tax season can't be far behind. So here's a tip from the tax pros. Compare this year's tax return to last year's. Look at it line. Okay, what's going on? Line by line. How come? Because it could show a mistake. If okay, it's just frightening. Okay, because she has the sharpest teeth known to man. Look. Sharpest. Sharpest. Sharpest canines. Sharpest teeth known to man. And money talks. Well, of course, she's sharp. She's the sharpest woman alive. She's, she knows everything about money, and she talks it. She talks it so good that it's just so green. She talks and spews it, and her, even her eyes are just the most beautiful shade of green. Who knew? Oh, yes. Kim Pearlie, you are the most money wiz wizard, the most money-wise, right? You're not penny-wise. You're money-wise. So you're going to give us some some advice, right? On tax? What is going on? If you forgot something this year, then you'll see it compared to last year. And even if you made an error last year, you can get an adjustment and maybe even get that money back. 
So who listens to this? Why do they care? Oh, because I'm the relentless greatest citizen. I'm the best. I, I deserve citizen of the bash generation because I I love to give just money so it just can go to where I believe it will go. Okay? Because I believe it and somehow it's amazing. My city, my city you know, picks up my garbage. The potholes get relentlessly just fixed eventually. And... There's bash 50 guys for every job that it takes to make one bash repair. Okay, we're there everywhere. We're just bash. It takes us a while, but listen, guys, we know what we're doing because there's relentless experts out there on the field every day. And thanks to you, you're able to give them a fair living because uh, they're the working class people, okay? You know, they don't make millions, they're not millionaires, people, but you allow them to live. So, thank you. The government likes to extend its thanks to forever employing somehow the vision that gets pushed and bashed, fed to you in the dark. Amazing. So, it's just forever amazing, and now she's giving you advice. Some common errors might include things like missed deductions or credits or forgetting slips like T5s to declare investment income. Oh, she's like, ah, ha, ha, got you there. You better declare everything you ever bash. Even every penny came in. Relentless. Get accounting on the cloud and just bash and just it will pump out numbers and printouts for the relentless requirements of your loans and grants and just print offs of statements and profit reports. And just balance. Make sure the balance is in the budget and the budget is in the balance. And somehow you're not in the red and somehow you stay above. And just in a surplus, aiming for more, higher, coming to the next quarter, physical bash. And this is, and last season was bash, then this quarter, and the next bash, third bash of the next third of fourth and fifth and five-eighths came out short. But listen. We have a strategy and it's going to blow your mind, okay? We're going to have relentless committees. The board will meet and we'll just have batch relentless meetings and beg and beg and beg and bring on and bring on and partner and partner and pass on and defile. And then somehow we will have a better product. Don't you understand? That's how it works, okay? So you work it and now it's working you. So it's telling you, please do not miss, right? This is you, you missed, you missed out, everyone. You didn't declare, and and bash, just check out the marks, and bash, put an X in the box with the deductions or the credits. You forgot, man. Right? You forgot your T5s, and now you're going to get smashed. Even if you use an accountant to do your taxes, it's still a good idea to compare to see if anything was accidentally recorded incorrectly. Oh. To so pay someone to do it, and then do it yourself to just compare. <laughs> Oh, uh, and you're like, yeah, I know, I can do them, but it's just I don't have the time, and I, it's, it's just relentless headaches. I I forgot how to add and subtract, and it's just so hard. And I don't even know what the, the bash numbers do anymore. I just like to see them rise in my account. That's all I care about. I just care about not staying above the red. And I have an app that tells me, you're right? It turns green when I'm good, and then it turns yellow when I eh, it's not getting so good. And that's all I care about. All right, it allows me to just live. It allows me to just live because I have reminders that just are nice things to look at. Because I have enough of it. As long as I know I have enough of it, then I'm all good. Well, what a shame. Doing this could also make sure you're not offside with the Canada Revenue Agency and risk paying penalties later. I'm Kim Parley, and that. Oh, are you sure? Are you Kim Parley? Whoa, you're Kim Parley. You're Kim Parley of some bash. Of money talk. Wow. So thank you for the relentless void advice, right? Leading people into captivity. And obviously, obviously she, she's captive. She's been captivated in this bash little frame right here. Look, she couldn't wait to just relentlessly appear in a box forever. Who knew? Because the Dow Jones is down and the NASDAQ is just down and gold is somehow up. And up and up and up and up and up. Gold is never bashed. And this and this and that. Because gold allows you to travel into space. And gold also can be injected into your atmosphere to protect you from the sun's rays. And this and this and that. 
Thank you, Sakurai Sitchin, for that tip. Whoa. Because the ancient aliens told us. And all the bash gods of the bash spaces of nebulas. Whoa. Who, what, whose AI will you buy? AI Takeover. AI Takeover is a hypothetical scenario in which artificial intelligence, AI, right? They have to remind you, AI, because nobody knows. Exactly, nobody knows. Becomes the dominant form of intelligence on Earth. Right, because just because somebody doesn't know what, say, somebody 30 years ago knew, somehow... If something artificial does know that, it's, it's somehow more intelligent. So if somebody knew how to tie their shoes 30 years ago and somehow you forgot and then you come across an uh, artificial intelligence that knows how to tie their shoe and you're like, wow, you're more intelligent than me. Right? Did you forget that that AI was Bash, supposedly made by the Bash that apparently forgot. So, AI is going to forget. If you forgot, then AI, AI will forget. So, what's going on? You can't forget. You can't. AI is supposedly Bash based on Bash algorithm, Bash com that, were, that were Bash coded, right? And decoded and bash written by supposed men. Okay, so it's just bash, just a file in the dark, and then pop, look, just bash, plug it in, and bash, let the electricity do its work, do its magic. Oh, amazing. Just because you bash, put a little teeny tiny bash gold and make circuits, and then all of a sudden, AI, here's AI, people. That's all it is. We're just a little bash. We're just a circuit, man. We're just completing some charge, and we're just a relentless little beacon. But somehow, no, 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 we're just bashed. We don't know. We don't know what it is, but somehow we can bash, create AI, and, t and have it tell us what it is because somehow we forgot. We we can't add anymore, and we rather just bash use a calculator. We bash rather just, we don't know how to, just, we don't know how to do anything. We have no idea. We have a clue. We don't have a clue, right? And it's so hard for people. To, I mean, it's our artificial intelligence has taken over, meaning complete belief in the counterfeit life it's already done it's already done right and you think you're chasing a, a subversion of your subversion right you're thinking you're going to bash find what you've already become in the sense of you've embraced that and you've sold yourself the, the lie that you can become something because you yeah, forget this okay well it was this but now it's this Whoa. Amazing. Amazing. Possible scenarios include replacement of entire human workforce, takeover by super intelligent AI. Oh, super intelligent. So they mean take over? How does something take over? Is is your bash coffee maker gonna take over? No no, right? It has to be a soup a super soldier, some robot, something that looks like you, some humanoid. Right? Or some bash, bash hybrid, right? Some bash weapon that is bash operated by people. Somehow fused together. Some, just, you, you, everybody has their bash interpretation of what that is. Because everyone was bombarded by imagery as such. Some public figures such as Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk have advocated research into precautionary measures to ensure future superintelligent machines remain under human control. So what they're really saying is like, well, you can come to control it, but it is a possession. So ultimately, you must then be able to control the possession. Because you, you might be just completely possessed. 
Oh, it's just like astral projection. Okay, people, you just have to be in the right mind and bash out because otherwise you you could do some bash damage and you might just never come back. What is going on? AI takeover. So what happens when people channel, right? Apparently channel. Oh, they receive downloads from the bash super nebula of this and that and this and this. And they receive wisdom. Wow. Amazing. So, so somehow, no, 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 no. All all of the bash, shape-shifting bash, right? S splinters of uh, the AI to take over is just somehow going to happen one day. And you're, the bash companies are going to come out and say, we have the future today. Here you go. You're welcome. Right? And everybody's just going to be like, wow, yeah. No. What? The, the AI takeover is already, it's already done. It's already done. It was already done, and you don't even know it. It was done to you. Right? The artificial way of living. Artificial life. Artificial intelligence. Artificial that. Artificial this. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Become the bash, relentless, artificial identity you will ever want. You could ever have. And bash, feel the friction along the way. Because you deserve it. You deserve it all. Go out and try and fail. Because you will, but then get up and get up and get up because you will fail and fail, 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 right? People embrace the failure, so that's why they justify whatever they want. All boasting in the their self knowledge, how they came to bash, brainwash themselves to go out there and smash even harder, all while being abused, defiled, turned around in the ways of the world, thinking. That they could make things better somehow. Because even though they thought that they were better than the previous generation. Somehow. Now. They understand that well. In the end. Better get my fill. In the end. Well. Who knows. Right. But somehow I'm just. Somehow I'm just. Uh, witnessing some AI takeover. Who knew. Some bash robot is going to come take my job. Some bash robot, right? And they're like, no, 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 no. Guys, think of it this way. Now you don't have to do all these bash jobs. And now you can just spend time with your family because you'll be poor outside. Without a job, not able to live, right? Because now a job is everything. Jobs are life. If you don't have a job, ah, you don't, you're nobody. You're nobody, bud. Go cut your hair and get a job, bud. Otherwise, you're nobody. Go out there and smash. Right? Go out there and smash and then become somebody. Otherwise, you're just a lazy oaf that just bleeds and suckles on bash government handouts. Right? And that's where our bash taxes are going and bash. Oh, I hate to bash, bash this and that and that and that. No. Void. You're void. Bankrupt. Just defiled. Split it and you don't even know it. Because you're being abused in the dark and allowing it to happen. And then you complain about why it's just so hard. Hard. Well, just because money talks. And bash, money, bash, it'll talk over. But uh, bash. Because apparently it's just a lot of giving you a better future. So that you can focus on your expansion and your dreams. And your relentless passions to just lick boot. To those who brought you this way of living. This technology, this glory of avatars, of idols that are somehow going to bash you in the future. They're just going to take over because that's what robots do. Intelligence ultimately takes over. Right? Then you're like, knowledge is power. Yeah, power over you. It smashes you. Knowledge is power. No, only the wisdom of the Father frees you. The truth shall set you free. Maketh a man free. The truth, only the truth. For it's the way and the life, the true saving word, Christ Jesus, the only begotten Son, who lived on earth and was slain. He was the Lamb who shed the blood for the sins of the world.
and his renewal, his resurrection, his defeat of death. Yes, amen. But no, everyone denies it. I don't know, it's not possible. It's, 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 yeah. I believe in this Tonka cat. Yep, because I can see it and smash it and smash it in it. And sure, I, I believe in Homer and the Iliad and all these bashes, but, well, it's just because it's just, it's just, and I believe that all the bash people that are commemorated in uh, marble and statue figure, yeah, I believe that they might have been real people, but maybe it was just a bash artist interpretation of what the man that they were carving out looked like. And this, and this, and that, and this, and this, and that. But somehow, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful art from just times ago. And just things that we just romanticize and and just claim to have bo certainty over. Just boast about. Because somehow we have this guy. We have Hubo. We have Hubo with us. And he reads the paper, everyone. And look at this bash, the Jetson. Right? It's a bash. It's a bash robot. It's a machine. It's a machine that does things for you. That lives for you. <laughs> the machine that lives for you. Lives. Yeah, because it took over. It, sub it substituted you. You gave up life for the robot. You're, you're bestowing life on the, to the robot somehow. Because apparently you couldn't do that. No. What a shame. Only Satan could ever come to deceive in such a way that man would believe that man can give life to a bash machine. Meaning little bits and pieces that man put together and somehow blast light through it. Or plasma or whatever you want to call it. The... The, f the bash mystery particle, right? It runs on the bash mystery element and somehow it is alive, people. Oh, right? Sorcery, magic, right? Life does not come from nothing. Life begets life. Why? Because it was created by the creator, God Almighty. And his word his true saving word. Yes, the promise. Fulfilleth the resolve. But no. This is your future. This is the answer to everything, people. Automation of everything. Automate Just automate everything. Make the children robots. Please. Can you program my child to just be a better robot from the beginning? Oh, you can? Amazing. Let's do it. Because apparently, right? You're this guy. Just swelling like a hot dog in your boast because somehow you're the captain of a ship you're the captain of a ship and you're saying yes I'm bashing in my ship but somehow I'm just bloated I don't know I'm just swelling retaining all this water I'm just stagnant oh, and I forgot what it is to walk I don't even know what it is to walk the way I've lost the way and I've just bash carried around by a machine that levitates. Oh, uh, I mean, it's right in front of you. You bash don't even know. You're just like, yeah, yeah, it's just funny because ha ha ha. It's just, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's just hilarious. Oh, uh, we, there's so many fat people in America today, so they're just making some bash affable guy. It's just like that. And that, well, they were just thinking that everything was dumb for them. Machines were just doing everything. So they just got a little overweight to people. And they become just gluttonous. And this, and they got everything. They had everything. And they were just waiting to come back to Earth and smash. That's what happens when you get in isolation, people. When you get in isolation and just keep boasting yourself, you get bashed. You get bloated and swell like a hot dog. No, 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 but that's what it's just captain, right? The captain, oh, oh, no, it's just this guy. Because he was just glorifying in his what? In his knowledge. The knowledge, his knowledge got, to, got for him to be a captain. Boasting in it. Captain, 
Captain of the space ship that just brought life back to life somehow. But somehow, he's just this guy. Somehow, it's just that guy. Somehow, it's just this guy, bash murmuring whispers in the dark. Right? With the bash fiery eyes, right? Mocking you. Because who has, who has eyes of fire? Exactly, you don't know. But somehow, to you, you're like, yeah, it's, it's Lucifer. No. What's going on? You don't know. But somehow you believe in this guy. This guy, well, yeah, sure, he might have been a prop, but the movie looks just so damn good. And for its time, wow, it was amazing. Right, because now you believe in just other bash times. When, who knew that in those times, right, they were depicting some other time, and that time, and this time, and it was the greatest thing ever, and now, sure, it's a classic, but bop, this, but that, but... It's not as creative effects as now because now it's full blown AI takeover and you can barely tell a difference between what has been promised and what you're actually living. Whoa. You can't tell. You're like, yo, we're doing it good. We just need to do it better, guys. Come on, get it together. Go out there and vote. Go out there and vote and make the future happen, people. Don't you dare not vote and don't you dare to get if you don't vote don't complain shut up and just take it because you could have you could have you could have made a difference oh, right you could have made a difference in how the relentless people get taxed right because it's a compulsory thing no bash government is ever going to say okay there's going to be no tax we're going to be self-sufficient we're going to grow our own food and feed our own cabinet and senators, we're going to do it, okay? Because we love the people so much that we're going to bash feed ourselves and also run the country. Because we can do it both. We can be self-sustainable and be a public servant. Okay, and then people were like, well, if you can bash, be self-sustainable and run your life, then surely we can do it ourselves. Elves, right? And they're like, no, 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 because I'm the expert and I went to these bash fancy schools and I know. So you don't know, but I do. And you say, wow, okay, I surely never went to school and everything. I just don't even know how to read. Me no read. Me no read. Me read, no. Me wrote, no, no, wrote. And this smash right and they're saying whoa exactly let us show you the way and then you say okay please but then you give house for me and wife and this and that and that and you give me good business yes you get you pay you pay you pay for me what's going on what's going on desolation is what mutilation distortion of what life It's been a high price to pay to complete the co the co total corruption of the truth, the way, and the life for a total substitute that just somehow you have justified that it feels too good to admit that it's wrong, that you're wrong. Somehow, just it's so engaging. It's just so thrilling. It just, oh, I go out there and hit somebody in the face, and and it works. Whoa! I just can't wait to do it again. And this and this and that or this, or I can't wait to go out and vote. Wow! My party actually won. Oh, guys, guys, we made it happen. Did you see? Wow! Totally misled. Misled. It's always economics, no matter what they say, right? And look. Interview with Eugene Palma and Bash it. Look at all these bashes. Right? An example of poor economics journalism. Economics A to Z term beginning with S. Says law. In classic economics says law or the law of markets. The law of markets is the claim that the production of a bash. Blah, blah, blah. Many economists today maintain that supply does not create its own demand. Wall. Blah, blah, blah. Is that no matter how much people save. Production is still a possibility. So save people, but then production is still possible. Even if people are saving, 
They're hoarding, hoarding, not spending, not spending. <sighs> we can't grow ourselves out of debt no matter what the bash, bash, bash. Right, debt. Who knew the debt? Who knew somebody created a business and say, okay, I'm going to bash, just exist until all the debt is paid. And then, okay, then nothing. Just go out and pay. Just go out there and live. There's, there's nothing. You don't have to pay me. Buy nothing. And they're like, no, 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 no. You have to keep coming back. No, 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 no. Come back. Didn't, didn't you know? Right, so it just completely broke. It's like you break you break a horse. Well, you're broken. You're broken in. You're broken in like a bash, just wet glove. Okay, just bashed. Sloshed around, and now somehow you're paying for this to be just gone. Right? Cliff Pallet. What is it? Oh, I don't know, but Operation Smile. Wow, dude. Action stories. Give us relentless stories with 35 years of expertise. We continue to provide life saving reconstructive Cleft Pallet surgeries. Cleft surgeries and increase our overall surgical safety, quality, and capacity worldwide. Right, so they're out here bashing and creating an enterprise of surgeons. Where are they? Sur where are they slicing and dicing? This apparently. But what causes? It? What is going on? You're like, well, it's just lack of uh, uh, oxygen, people, and this and this and that. So don't worry, it's okay. Other environmental factors that have been studied include seasonal causes such as pesticide exposure, eternal diet, and vitamin intake. Retinoids, member of the vitamin A family. anti nitrate component, parental exposure to lead, alcohol, cigarette use, and number of other psychoactive drugs. Cocaine, crack, cocaine, or heroin. Current research continues to investigate the extent to which folic acid can reduce the incidence of clefting. <gasps> so somehow folic acid can just get rid of it. Just it doesn't happen. If you have the right amounts of this and this and that dust and this dust and that dust and just take that dust away and add that dust and put this dust and more of that dust. Apparently we can just make it all good. Make it better. Make it even better. Right? Or like no 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 no. Just make sure it's normal. Right, normal. Because you should actually go into the whole embryonic process and bash, you know, just slice and dice to what you say normal is. You're like, well, I've I've observed at least a million developments. I've just bashed, stared at the video, just watched those cells split, and I just watched it. I know exactly what it is. I know how to do it. Put me in, coach. I can do it. Put me in. Put me in. And you go in there and slice and dice, and somehow you're like, whoa, it's better. Oh, I did what I did worked. It cooked up. It turned out. Right. So now you're apparently some boss genius, some creator. Wow. Of what? No. You're a man manipulator. That's what you are. Fidgeting with. The creation of God. Fidgeting. Just really let's see fidgeting. Fidget it in. Fidget this. Fidget that. Whoa, look at what I did. Whoa, look what I did. Smashed. What are you living? What do you serve? Who's your king? Because people they these people want to turn, right? And boast. In the medical achievement. And that today's world, it is surely inhumane to even contemplate that cleft surgeries are even necessary because, oh, we just have the power to just erase it from the face of the earth. And we will, we will not rest one minute until every single cleft incident is somehow made normal. Normalize, we must normalize it all. Because surely it's not anything that we're living that's bringing that about. No, nothing at all. 
If there's no resolve to any of the things that we're doing, and it means nothing, somehow it's just accident and arbitrary cause and effect. And somehow it's just smashing and smashing and smashing and smashing. And we're going to fix it, people. One stitch at a time. One bash, scalpula, slit at a time. What is going on? You're like, oh, no, 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 no. We're making lives better. We're giving children smiles. Didn't you know? What's wrong with you? Have you no heart? Apparently, they've carved your heart out and replaced it with a bash heart of stone that has just been chiseled with what you think is that your heart is telling you because you denied what has been written in our heart. Since the breath of his life was breathed into us, into man's nostril, woman created from man, each with their place. Becoming one flesh. A child is born into the world. Wow. So what is going on? All of a sudden there's all children around. And they become adults apparently. What is going on? So go out there and fix the world by bash stitching the bash defects in the in the bash flesh and you give it people a fighting chance. Because ah oh, it's just something that just oh it's just, they're made fun of relentlessly and they're bash bullied and they don't get a chance to live a normal life, people. Right, so you're giving things like this, but this is a clear example of the total split of what we're doing. And you're like, well, even if somebody just is the most amazing person, they they can produce a job like this. What's going on? Right, because you all of a sudden, the individual is just everything now. And, but you're like, no, 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 that's just anecdotal. And you're like, no, 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 there's enough of them that now it's become something. It's a, a statistic. I want to see the numbers. Okay, okay. Don't talk to me about anecdote. No, no, no. This picture, anecdote. This is this, anecdote. That, 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 anecdote. Who cares, right? You say, you'd say, oh, pff, relative. Ah, eh, smash. Well, it happens more than once. Well, it happens uh, all the time. Ah, eh, relative. And this and this and that and this and this and that. Because clearly all diseases are just, have always existed and somehow just shapeshifted. And now, well, we get infected and we get corrupted. And we get bash defiled and we get bash tormented. And the bash plague hits and the bash plague not hits. And somehow the Ebola and the bash H1N1 and these and all these smashes are out there smashing. And you're like, oh, what's going on? We're just bash flawed. We're just so bash corrupt. There's too many of us in it. Whoa, what shame. Don't even have a clue. Running away from what you smashed so far hard into running away from, right? Because there's nothing other than life with God. Life outside of God is desolation. Stumbling and corruption. And witnessing your de own destruction in what you say you love most, right? the children and we're all children we just think ourselves more sophisticated and bash old but what are we have we accepted the wisdom of the father or just bash continue wielding our bash own wisdom in defiance and rebellion against god carving out some life for us that we can just boast in and say, say we're gonna go out there and fix it because somehow we are the givers of life we decide who lives and who dies, and who looks good and who looks bad. And who should bash, have this fashion this season, who, and who should not have that fashion this season. And who should eat this, and who should eat that, and this and that and that. Because we're all just moral people and we know what's going on. No, what shame. No one who claims to deny God. has any certainty for relativity is their king ambiguity and self-betterment rule 
the law of the land is whatever is convenient to the positioning of man locking in his position to relentlessly bestow some sort of authority on earth the illusion of the authority that man holds on earth the illusion for surely how does the illusion work well it starts with something called axing you axing your bash skull into just smithereens and then calling it tax and then you have to pay it with some bash money and you have to go mine gold relentlessly and find diamonds and then bash sell your child for the highest price just to bash pay some place to live some place to just bash feed you because you're pushing that technology that's supposedly feeding you and making things better but all the while it's just a new stab and it just take over it's an ai takeover right ai and you're like it's coming people no it already bash came in your face and you're guzzling it down because Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk told you to take it down. You just have to have the safety precautions and make sure the person wasn't diseased. And then you can just go in there and just have them defile you with the friction. With no gloves on. Who knew? Amazing, right? You'd say, yeah, it's so uh, I trust them so much. And then they go up, bash and bash, betray you. Who knew? But it's all in fiction. And it certainly doesn't turn on you on a dime because... AI, no, 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 it will never turn on us. And they're like, wait, what about the AI takeover? And they're like, oh, right, I forgot. It will turn on us on a dime. So let's prepare for it, people. We know that AI will turn on us on a dime, so that's what we're preparing for, right, people? Okay? We, we, we have, we, we, we're working both sides of going here, okay? But somehow, if we play just right, it'll be the synthesis, people. It'll be the missing link to the bash mystery particle to the... We will just become sublime. Become and not become. And just somehow bash, just be. And you're like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Does that mean I can't play my bash character anymore? I want to be my bash character. My character is awesome. And you're like, okay, well, sure, bud. You can live forever. You just got to bash, download it, and we'll suck your brain out. Amazing. You're like, okay, where do I sign? Because it will be the relentless glory hole forever. Telling you that the pleasures that you have received on earth will be even better somehow. So just fill your fill your socks with every positive, right? Every quote unquote positive experience and bash filling and loving and just consenting in this. Oh, well, you're being defiled in the shadows without you even knowing, without your consent. And you're like, yeah, everything's fine. You're like, oh, why does it hurt? Exactly. You don't even know why you're being just ravagely frictioned and you don't even know. And then you, you're bash, you don't can't put it together. Why? It's just so unjust. And then you're like, I know why. Because man is corrupt. Man is just relentlessly greedy and just bashed. And, we, and it's man's fault. He's just kicked down the woman relentlessly. And this and this and that and that. It's his fault. Okay, it's all bash, bash, it's all bash. No, oh, no, no. Right? All while being deceived. Satan's laughing. Satan's laughing and saying, wow, <laughs> wow, it's working. I've bash convinced themselves to just bash, worship me, and all the while destroy themselves. And that's what life outside of God is. Desolation. Wanting to die and not being able to. For there's no such thing as courageous death. In the sense of I took my own life. I was so courageous. No. The authority of God is the only authority. The only lawmaker. Surely he created man and woman. What is it for man and woman to live and endure and resolve in what you call your mortal life on earth? And anything, the only thing you can come, one can come to know 
is God. To the saving word. The spirit of all prophecy. The Father's wisdom. And the daily over overture exposure of the love unconditional of the Father. To despite our knowledge of good and evil, it is apparent to us the love of the Father in bringing forth life continuously despite what we may come to deem good or evil and the Father's wisdom instructs to the ways of Satan and how he works and to find the truth in the words of God and what Jesus Christ has revealed to man despite the relentless rejection and turning away from. So who's going to turn away from exactly the robot? So you're the robot turning away from Christ. You're the robot turning you on you, right? And you're saying, I'm taking over. So you're the bash robot. You took over, but somehow now the robot's going to take over you. Oh, what shame. Just inverted, twisted. But somehow life is going to get better, people. Didn't you know? Right, because all the bash automatons that are out there smashing are not good enough. So life is going to get better so you can get better and be everything you ever wanted because now it's going to be thriving and thriving and thriving thanks to the robot. What a shame. We'll end it there.